The Quote Goats Podcast. The Quote Goats Podcast. So I have a question. So, like, when you talk about kind of like your early childhood, like, did you feel like, uh, did you feel like you were, I would say, did you feel black or like, you know, when you were younger? In your younger days or something like that. So as a child, I only child. dreamed of the um, of going to as I dreamed as going to um to the US like the Pamela Anderson and um, like the Baywatch series and at like what age though? Like what age do you remember having this this dream? Oh, when I was eight. 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 Wow. Pamela, yeah. Pamela Anderson was a star at 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 that time. I mean, I guess yeah. I, yeah. I guess so. So at this time, you looked up to Pamela Anderson as like your yeah. idol. Yeah, and and in, in the TV show, also I in the TVs, I um, watched also the Pamela Anderson and Baywatch, and also series about the elephants and the animals in Africa ah. or different um, different countries. Also, I like to. To watch the travel um, guides all over the world, and so in step by step, I dreamed of getting. I want to go there to but Africa. Then, yeah, to Africa or to the to to US, and also this. Um, I'm starting to see it come together. So yeah. you seeing Pamela Anderson titties, and then you seeing the Africa and the black people, and you and it eventually all culminated into yeah. being. Yeah. Martina Big today, but yeah, but continue. I didn't mean to cut you off, but I'm no, just no, no, no. It's 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 it's, it's all a dream of mm. my youngs and this melting together. Yeah. Okay, I see. Okay, I can I can identify I can, with that. You I know, because I I I truly believe that like people from the time you're born to whatever point in your life, like everybody is kind of a product of what they see, you know, and like their circumstances and the choices they make as they like experience things and see things, you know what I'm saying? And people try these, these days people try to dispute that and act like people are just born a certain way and they know exactly who they are ex when they come out, you know, whether it's a gender or whatever, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I know where this is going now. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know, it's cool for her to like, point out that yeah i saw this and i saw that and eventually this happened you know what i'm saying so okay. yeah um so you got the boob job first right yeah mm -hmm. also, also in the part, um, maybe i have to go back also okay when i was um, a small girl mm -hmm. i like to play with barbie girls yeah and she, they looked a little bit like Pamela Anderson, but in also i dreamed of go being um, going in the zoo and uh, help do the um, animals. Also, not also at first before. My, this is already before Michael. Also, this this these stories actually are before Michael. So, when I was a little guy, girl, I dreamed of being um, the um, sanctuaries for for animals. Also, um, Tieflinger. Like a zookeeper. Zoo yes. Keeper. Okay. Yes. Person that takes care of animals at the zoo. So yeah. you liked animals. Okay. Yeah. Obviously, you liked animals when you were a child. Okay. So. Yeah. Okay. But also when I um, get informed about the, these jobs, they told me you have to go very far in the north or very far in very far away from home. Mm -hmm. So, oh, this is too far. Let's um, do a different. She was like, thing. "Fuck that! I gotta do something else." <laughs> <laughs> but um, in the meanwhile, I am um, in the last grade of school. Mm -hmm. I met Michael, and Michael bring me to also he when we he entered the room, mm -hmm. and he um he from the beginning he said, "I want to be your boyfriend." Okay. When I, when he entered the room, I so, oh, I know him. Then, huh? No, I don't know him. Also, uh, I it was love of the first. Sight love at first room. sight. That's also, I, okay, that's I, when what's I, up. When he entered the yeah. room, I know. I said I know him, but uh, so the teacher introduced him yeah, at yeah. the first time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
And Michael was also the, the beginner who said, um, I like you, your body, I like you, you must be a photo model. He and said this? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. You're now husband, right? Yeah. How long ago was this? How yeah, long like what, how old were you guys like at this age? Also Michael was 18, I was, was 17, also it's long ago. Oh, oh. so you've okay. been together since, since you were you were 17. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Okay. Okay. Cool. Okay. Yeah, this is before the transformation. Yeah, right? this is before the okay, transformation. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. And this is okay, you keep keep going with with the story. We're listening. And then um, and he said to me, also you're you're pretty, you have to be in photo model. And then Okay, maybe for you, but I'm not a photo model. I don't um, need uh, to be uh, on camera. But um, a little bit later, we did it together a trip mm -hmm. to Los Angeles, and um, we are actually uh, just only for um, doing some um, sightseeing pictures and uh, so not not modeling, only um, sightseeing from from the hills and um, but no, and browsing the, the the souvenir shops and. While browsing the souvenir shops, there was a um, model guide, mm -hmm. and he started his words, oh, hi, do you have a track transfer? Have you ever thinking about photo modeling? No. Uh, no. Someone asked you this. Yeah, and model guide asked me. Okay. And, he, and um, he was very friendly, but it sounds interesting, because also Michael also said, uh, you want to be a photo model? And when a model guide... Uh, yeah, so he gave you, like, re reassurance, like... You felt like you could do it after this guy yeah. basically said it. Two like, people told yeah. you people the same thing. She was because like, the, hmm. the, the, the funny part of it, the guy, also the, the, the model scout, had a girl next door beside him. Also, I was really, um, I had already some curves like Pamela Anderson. Okay. And this girl beside him was nothing also sorry for uh, <laughs> nothing. she was nothing she, nothing she, as in what like uh, like a like, like she was ugly she was very very, very skinny she mm. was um, fat and shy and sorry she was That's ugly is what you're saying not not really ugly she, she was a pretty girl for but um she didn't have the curves or what are you what? Uh, she's a, uh, she wasn't a model she was not a model also okay she was she was only like my friend next door Ah. So, so like the girl well, so next you were just door, better than her let's just say you just you you you, you looked, looked at better. her and you was like ah, i got oh, this yeah bitch. yeah i got this bitch. All right. <laughs> i got you we got you <laughs> and so then you decided to become a model yeah mm -hmm. okay okay and was your body at the time not what you saw yourself in the model world and that is that why you wanted to also become more a, like Pamela I Anderson. Also, I had already slim, slim legs, mm -hmm. but also I hadn't the curves like Pamela Anderson. I liked her boobs very much. Also, I think everybody liked her boob, boob <laughs> very much back then. Yeah, so and, so the, and so also that <laughs> I also liked the style of Katie Price in the media reports. She's also a glamour model from UK. Okay. okay, Katie Price. Okay, she's much smaller than me. But okay. uh, the, the funny part was when I got. Um, Informed about myself, you want to have a <laughs> breast surgery. Mm -hmm. I needed to know which is your favorite size. And um, Michael had the idea to find the real life, the real curves, also the, the, the implant size, mm -hmm. because having a boob job is changing your life. Don't you I have to imagine. be? Yeah, yeah, yeah you have to sure. be very sure. <laughs> you have to be very sure. What is your favorite size? Because if you have the wrong decision, mm -hmm. you don't feel, f you don't, you don't like it. Yeah, you're because not gonna, you're not happy. Them, you spend all that money. Hell yeah. yeah, the money is what it's like. Damn. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and um, if you prepare well, you will be really proud yeah. of the results. When I wake up after surgery, I was wow. You was like, like hell yeah. Yeah, like Katie titty. racing me. Also, it was also and when we started. Also after surgery, I wake up. And I had six, uh, at before surgery, I had 70 cc's or whatever. In 1D, no? 1D, but it's 71D. Oh, the bra size, yeah. 71D? Yeah. That's already kind of kind of big, though. It yeah. wasn't small. <laughs> and yeah, how, I, I, how, I big, how, and how big were they after surgery? Uh, after surgery, we had um, 3Ds. 3Ds. Like the movies. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. 650s. 
CC is more? 650 CCs. I don't know but, how much a CC but my is. First, uh, my first dream goal was to have 2,000 CCs. Also, I have. I got Holy what? shit. Yo, yo, hold how on. How big on. is that? Hold, hold on. I need to ask this. Like, <laughs> I got to ask this. Like, when you got up, like, like, how, isn't that shit, like, weigh you down and shit? Like, Yeah, do you have, like, does it hurt your back? Yeah. <laughs> my wife wanted me to ask you this question. <laughs> No, well, I, because I'm really prepared. As I'm training every day. You trained your back. As I train, as in before. You trained your back <laughs> for your Come moves. on, Martina. Come on, come on. For as real? I train, I have to train every day, every two days, my back mm-hmm. and on all the muscles. But also very important is the the bra. The because, bra. Because uh, if the bra where do you where do you get bras from? Are they custom like made. custom made? Yeah, they're Holy all custom shit. made. Holy shit. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Who ma- no, uh, but when, when when if you um if you um if you go only for for example the six hundred fifties, you can go to the shop and you have uh, to buy L. Also, also, um, depending on your size, you can go to the shop, but if you go bigger, you have to um to change to the shops in the UK mm-hmm. because the Germans are only small sizes. Mm-hmm. But so you saying Ger- you saying German German women have small, small boobs, titties, yeah. small boobs? Bis wie viel gehen die hier? Bis gegen? In in German the 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 cup size is only end up G, and uh, if you go to um if you're shopping in UK, you can get a cups with K or L. K or L, Jesus yeah. Christ! What they got Holy going on shit. over there? Bro, mm-hmm. I didn't even notice. <laughs> yeah, you drinking too much milk out there or something. But <laughs> maybe also, <laughs> I, it is really. Um, I have in, found in internet in um, in, in, in a story the um, in UK the natural sizes are very common. Okay. They're they're bigger. But none as big as as you though, right? Oh, uh-huh. You can't find a bra so in the on, store. Wait, 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 wait! You said you were training. You had to train. Yeah, your back. you skipped over you skipped that. Skipped over that. We gotta go what, back to that. What kind of back exercises do you do? Uh, so every, as those, yeah, sports and this direction. So you just have to work out every day. Yeah, and you yeah. have no back pain. How long is the process? Like, how long do you have to train to prepare for these massive boobs? <laughs> massive. Yeah, that's the, that's the very important thing. My implants <coughs> are not gummy bears. They were filled with saline. They can be also. There was only one. Uh, I meanwhile I had two surgeries. Also, had in December 2012 my first boob job. Mm-hmm. That's was where where I said, "Wow, Katie pressed me." And um, step by step, we can fill the implants with an uh, over port under under armpit with saline. Also, we are we are filling no not only with um it's an outbound also an inbound also. I don't have to stay mm-hmm. with cut. And um, only uh, uh, peaks. So you have a it. so you have a tube that they could just fill up for yes. you. You know, so you could just go to the doctor and get a refill. Are, do yeah. you do you want them like bigger? Yeah. Even now? Yeah. Wait, wait. But I I saw you on botched right, mm-hmm. and the doctor said the type of surgery that you got is dangerous, and that many people don't get it. Is that true? As we, and have we, you had have you had some complications because of the type of surgery that you have? No, like, do you have problems because of the type of surgery that you have? No, the the, the, the surgery itself is very small, so, and the, the the cut is very small. Because I mean, like after though, like it's like we saw you for the first time like four years ago, so it's been some years since you got the surgery. Like, do you have problems in your daily life now, because of yeah. the type of surgery now that that you Not had? Not surgery, as well. it is. My life is different. Because um, my roofs are getting bigger and bigger, and so they grow over time. Yeah. Uh-huh. So, yo, if you enjoyed this podcast, you already know what to do. And if you don't know what to do, I'm gonna tell you what to do. Hit that subscribe, hit the bell icon, and give us a like. Cause it's a quote go podcast, man. You can't you can't go wrong. Tune in every weekday, six o'clock Friday. Full episodes on YouTube and Spotify. Hit us up on the Instagram. Give us topics. And we appreciate it, man. Quote Ghost Podcast. We out.